Boy, I can hear Rick and Sarah behind me. There is a lot going on. You got a keg party over there, you guys? Yeah, We're, kinda, kinda. We're talking about PayPal, PayPal. Burns. Actually, yeah. I was telling him he needed to fix I his mic. mic. I know, I'm a terrible mic dresser. And I said, I told you to put it on your lapel. This is how she's going to talk to and her so future husband and kids. talking about women and the looks and the tone that they give. So I was um, thought it was pretty funny. Okay, PayPal, PayPal. Rick. You know, sending and receiving money on the web has gotten a lot easier, a lot safer. And and many people are familiar with PayPal if they use eBay, right. if they want to send money to friends, families. The only problem with PayPal is that if you belong to a club or organization and you're looking for a little bit of transparency, PayPal is a little difficult because it goes into one person's account and the other people in the group really can't, can't look Do at what's going on. Do you mean a club or, or an organization like you're buying something for that group? Or, you know, a lot of college students may be treasurers of their fraternity or a church Understand. group or something like that. Got it. So I've ran across a site called WePay and it helps groups collect money online. And so you can request money, accept donations and sell tickets and it's very and it is very transparent another cool thing about it they actually issue the administrator a credit card a debit card really mm -hmm. where they can you know go and make the transaction if you're going to say a fraternity wants to go on a ski trip they can ask all its members to um, you know pay into um, one account and that the administrator will be able to kind of sell all the uh, and purchase all the things that they need Got so it. you can do it for selling tickets you know, you can sell tickets for events, and they'll process it. Yes, there's a little bit of a transaction fee, depending if it's going to uh, come out of a bank account or a credit card or a debit card. Uh, but it's a very easy way to um, collect donations mm -hmm. for uh, nonprofit oh, groups. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, and also you can create all kind of uh, opportunities for your organization to um, organize your activities. It's, it's easy to do. Uh, Eventbrite is another um, kind of log me out there, but Eventbrite is another place where you can kind of uh, have one person responsible for all the activities of a group and make the financial transaction so there's a little bit of more trust Easy. involved right. for people to say, well, where, who has the money? Everybody Where's can kind of see the account. Where is it going? So PayPal is good, but uh, some of these others might be a little bit better for larger groups and organizations. And we'll have them all on our website, ctnow.com. That's right. Logan. Over to you. French, thank you guys. Much more ahead right here. College kids are prone to identity.